Well, howdy everyone. How are you doing this evening? I'm Eve with The Baby's Booty. And tonight we're going to talk a little bit about bullying. But this is going to be like eh, an alternative to bullying for those who want to resize templates. Okay, so I was um, in Michael's looking for the cinch for those who know what the cinch is i went looking for it couldn't find it but over in that area is where the vinyl is and i happened to notice some really pretty supplies and i was like oh we can resize templates with this so that's what we're going to talk a little bit about tonight um is resizing some templates also um i would like to let you guys know that there will be a newsletter going out later this coming week. So for those of you who are signed up for our newsletter, please keep an eye out for that. It's got some goodies in it. Um, in addition to that, I wanted to show you guys what we worked on the other day. I thought I had it right here, but it's probably over there on the desk. But if you are a paid member of this channel, or if you're a paid member over on Patrice's channel, then please check the community tab, okay? Because on the community tab, there should be a link, even though, now that I think about it, I don't think I put the link up for the replay, but there was a link to join us for a Zoom yesterday. So we had a stitch along where we did some embroidered patches together yesterday, and we had a ball. You know, we really did. It was, it started at like 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It lasted about four hours and had a really nice time talking to everybody, uh, catching up with folks, seeing how folks was doing, working on the project together, so on and so forth. It was super, super cool, super nice. So definitely check that out. If you're a paid member here on this channel, Check that out and, and see how much fun we had. And please be sure to be on the lookout for the next one because I thoroughly enjoyed it so much. I really want to do it again. Okay. So I wanted to put that out there. Um, also, we have some new rhinestone designs that have been added to the baby's booty section of the rhinestone mechanics website. So some new designs are up for this week. Please go check them out. As a matter of fact, we're going to scroll through a couple of them because one, I think one is available. I need to check and make sure. <laughs> I need to check and make sure the one that I'm going to do tonight is not in the uh, do flotchy thing, the bonus pack. Hold on. I, I am forever doing it, y'all. I was like seeing designs and I'm like, ooh. I want to do this design and then go to do the design and it's in the bonus chest, you know? So, hey, Kevin Moore. I was waiting for you to come back on. Ha, ha, hilarious. No, actually, I did not. But you've been a member for 16 long. Hi, yes, honey. Yes. <laughs> so I did end up going to Kohl's, but I did not go to Kohl's last night. So... Went back there, talked to Mr. McQuackens, and he was like, well, I mean, you could, look at there, look at there, that nabbit, I knew the one I was going to do was not in the thingy, but that's okay, we can do a different one. Oh, if it's the mystery ball, okay, cool, thank you, <laughs> because the one I picked is in the mystery box, I am forever doing that, but at any rate, um, so... I did not go last night, ended up going today, and I went to both Old Navy and Kohl's, and I'll show you what I got from Kohl's. I did not get anything from Old Navy, not for myself anyway. I got something for the grandbaby, but not for myself. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got from Kohl's because, you know, we went. I went to go look for a jean jacket. I kind of wanted a white one, um, so I went to look for a jean jacket at Kohl's and at Old Navy. I'm going to show you what I got instead. So um, let me share screen so that I can show you guys the designs that um, are in the on the website this week. So here is the link to this is in the description below this video, okay? And here are the designs that are in the 
um, baby's booty category for this week. Notice they're five dollars. I mean, five dollars for Mickey. Come on, fam. Well, I'm sorry, Steamboat Willie. Um, so check these out. These are super cute. Um, and they are right on time for you to actually promote these to your customers. Okay. Um, so January, we're almost halfway through the month of January. That is crazy. Miss Craftable Things gifted five memberships to folks in the Baby's Booty channel. How awesome is that? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Patrice. That is super, super awesome. We appreciate that. And I'm sure the, the recipients appreciate that as well. Um, but the $5 sale price on this is only for 24 hours, okay? So keep that in mind. You only have 24 hours to grab them. So honestly, I grab them now. Why wait? Because if you're like me, you'll be like, ooh, I'll get it later. And you go to get it later, and later is like three days from now. And they're not $5 anymore. So, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. But this, the mystery box, will be $2 no matter how long you wait. So check that out. The mystery box has something good inside. And one of the designs we will be doing tonight so that we can resize that. So we'll get to that here in a moment. So I wanted to show you guys the designs um, that are in the um, Rhinestone Mechanic Baby Booty, Baby's Booty section. Okay? Diane Quilting by Day has been a member for 23 months. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. And that's okay, Crackable Things. We understand. That was a lot yesterday. We had a lot going on yesterday. So I'm going to jump in the chat and say hi to folks. Miss Sharon Davenport, thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Hey, Sam. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. We also have Carol Coleman. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. And you know, I typed out your message and never hit send. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, which is a shame. So I'll send it. Hey, Tanya. Welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Who Group member. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit send now because, you know, like I said earlier, you, you say you're going to do something and then you don't do it. And then it's just like, bam, what in the whole wide world? There you are. Boom. Alrighty, make it with Marilyn. Hey, honey bunny, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. Kevin Moore, welcome and thank you very much for being a YouTube Who Group member. As we saw when we rang the bell, we have Josette Lurchek, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. Hi, Sheila Cushionberry, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member and for checking on me yesterday. I appreciate it, or was it the day before? Whatever it was, thank you. Patricia Johnson, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. I appreciate that. Nikki Patterson, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, Robin Murray, thank you. Murphy, sorry. Thank you for joining us this evening as well. Karen D, welcome. I did get your email, and thank you for joining us tonight and for being a YouTube Who Group member. Hey, Dennis, he said, happy first show of 2024, <laughs> and it sure is. Isn't that a trip? Time has flown. Nick Nick Nurse, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Dana Bryant, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate it. Hey, Ernique, welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And tell the babies I said hi. Ms. Ethel Smith Ames, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Carla Thomas Anders, thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We also have Sandra with Blue Emerald Creations. Thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. Miss JB, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. Sharon Davis, thank you as well for being a YouTube Who Group member. She said Nana time is over. Welcome. EJ's daughter, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. And I'm going to go through and mention some more YouTube Who Group members, singling them out. Greg Barker. We also have So Crafty. Uh, we also have, let's see, scrolling down, we have, y'all were talking it up. I love it. This is awesome. Bridget Porter, Kevin Moore, we mentioned earlier, Zelda Brown, welcome. Roxanne Wallace, Sharon Davis. Um, let's see who else we have. Winetta Wilson, LaShonda Rice. 
welcome. Thank you for joining us. Precious Pieces, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Crafting Away, welcome. Uh, so all of those folks are YouTube Hoop Group. Leela Nelson, all of you have been Hoop Group members, and we definitely appreciate the love and support of our channel. So welcome to all of you, and welcome to those of you who are joining us for the first time. If you're a first-timer, go ahead and put a thumbs up in the chat so that we can greet you per uh, properly and say hello. Um, someone gifted you your membership and you loved it so much you kept it up for seven months. That is awesome. It is super cool to have uh, a membership and be gifted. Monica, that is awesome. And thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member as well. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Gina Spears, the colors on my shirt is just crystal and neon white is all I'm wearing today. So the outline is crystal um, and the inside is neon white. That's the only colors I have on today. But over there on the table, we will be um, using some other colors over there. <laughs> Give me the shimmy. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you very much for uh, hitting the like button. Let us take a look at the design that we're going to work with today, okay? Now, I'm kind of spoiling the surprise a little bit because it is oh, okay i apologize i missed some bell rings y'all blue emerald sandra congratulations on wait a minute hold up i missed it nine months Holly! Yes, honey. <laughs> yes. thank you so very very much and then we also have miss gail member for seven months i did read your comment but they ring the bell yes. thank you very very much we really appreciate that. Hey, Yvonne from California. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member as well. Let me make sure. Uh, okay. Cool beans. I think that's it. Diane quilting by day. Do this every year in January. So it's just... <laughs> yes, honey. Thank you for the super chat. Holla. <laughs> and Miss Viola Floyd. Thank you for being a member as well for 21 months. Holla. Yes. So for those of you who might be new to this channel, we do have bells. I did get bells in. Um, so those are being put together as we speak. Um, and they will go out this week. But we do have bells. They're all signed and numbered. So if you are a member, you see green by your name or membership by your name up there, then you can request a bell. It is in the community tab the link that you can click on to request the bill. So I'm going to have to spoil um, a little bit the surprise for the mystery box. And I'm I'm sorry in advance, but this is a design in the mystery box. Um, new machine bill. What new machine did you get? You'll have to remind me because we talked about it yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday is gone, fam. It really is. And I don't mind. If you have a new baby, please let me know uh, so that I can ring the bell. Your 15 needle came Friday. Congratulations, Kingsley Crabs. Yas, honey. <laughs> yas, that's what's up. Let me see. Make sure I didn't miss any other. How do you become a group member? Um, Denise, down in the... Um, actually, you can type the channel where you see our channel name up at the top. You can um, hit slash and join, and it'll take you to our membership page. But if you go to our main page, the join button is there on the main page. Um, oh, cool. Candace B, I see you got a circle bottle today. Let us know how you liked it. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, I'm looking for, make sure the baby, okay. Hang on. Vanessa got two new machines, a Romeo and a Cameo 5. Go ahead, old girl. For you. Yes, honey. Yes. So this project will work great for you today. Um, and then we also have, let's see. I just saw, it's scrolling so fast. I love it. You got a new sublimation oven, Denisha. Congratulations for that. Holla. Yes. And then Jess Craft Therapy got a new heat press, 16 by 24. Holla! Yas, honey. 
And I did ring the bell for Diane already for the super chat. So thank you very much for that. And then we also have, oh, Miss Joy got the HTV run auto press. Congratulations on that. Holla. <laughs> and then Eva Marie Tolbert Bradley got the NQ 1700E. Congratulations on your new baby. Holla. Yes, honey. Yes, and thank you for the reminder of what it is that you received. And let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. I got the oven, um, Romeo, and the five. Let's go here. You got a new sewing singer C7220 small, but it's a start, and that's good. Nothing wrong with a small start. Congratulations, Dee Dee. Yes, honey. <laughs> That's what's up. Congratulations on that. And let's see. Lots of folks got some new babies. That's what's up. That is awesome. Beverly Smith got the DTF Pro Color Printer. Congratulations. Make that money, honey. Holla. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. And Karen D has been a member for 11 months already. Yes, honey. Congratulations. And then uh, unbiased, like she said, congratulations to all of the new toys. Let's get it. I know that's right. Definitely work towards earning, letting those new toys get your income coming in. Let it pay for itself. Why not? You're already using it. Put it to sale. Diane got a clay oven with the 12 by 12 tile. That's what's up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yas, honey, congratulations on that as well. A lot of babies coming out. That's what's up. Okay, let's see. Make sure I don't miss any. Um, I know, right? It is going to be a bling-tastic year. And DTF. Oh, my gosh. Then we have EJ's daughter. 37 months, y'all. Holla! Yas, honey. <laughs> hey, Yas. <laughs> And then on top of that, we got us a new member. Welcome to the Hoo-Hoo Bean Hollers. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining us. And be sure to join us over on Facebook as well. Okay? Because we are definitely over there. I am so far back. Miss Ethel Smith Ames is a member for 36 months. But man, y'all, this is all <laughs> The whole show is going to be bell ringing, ain't it? <laughs> I love it. Awesome sauce. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you so very much for the support that you've given us over here as we continue to try and bring you guys some awesome content that'll help you either up your craft game or make some money off of your craft game. Okay. So let me share my screen and I'm going to show you guys. I have for right now, I have this design up on um, Corel Draw. Okay. Because I cut my templates out with Graph Tech, and Graph Tech uses Corel, or I use Corel to drive my Graph Tech, right? So because of that, that's why I have this here. Now this, actually, let's let's open it up the other way. Hold on, I'm gonna show you what this looks like when you open it up. So I'm gonna merge in, um, import, and here is the design. Now if you have a Cricut design space. If you have a Cricut, <laughs> if you have a Cricut, then you would want to get this one. Let me see if I can't make this bigger. Boom. Okay. See right here where it says Bubble Love SS1 design space. So if you have design space, this is the SVG that you want to upload into Cricut design space. But I'm not using Cricut design space. I'm using um, Corel. So I'm going to use this basic one here where it says the same. It's the exact same design, but this one is optimized for Cricut. I'm not using Cricut. I'm using this. So we're going to hit import, right? And all I have to do is just click and add it in. Now, let's see, because I don't think you can see this. So let me, there we go. So notice at the top, he has a box here that says size check, right? Um, bounding boxes are exactly nine inches by five inches. So the bounding boxes are these boxes right here. So that's what needs to be nine inches by five inches. 
But let me show you how I do this so that it can make things a little bit faster for you because you should be able to upload this version, this SVG into like Romeo. Romeo should be able to handle, uh, Leonardo rather, should be able to handle this version, okay? Not the Cricut version. But when I click on this, it's all grouped together. So I'm going to ungroup it because I need to make sure I get the correct measurement, right? So now that I've ungrouped it, I can move this off to the side. And remember, it's supposed to be nine by five. But look at this. When I click the bounding box around this one, the measurements that I'm getting up here in the top, this says 6.75 wide by 3.75 tall. So that is not nine by five, okay? So for whatever reason, Corel doesn't bring my stuff in at the right size, but that's not an issue because all I have to do is drag a box around all of it because the height, I have three stacked on top of each other. So I can't go based off of height, but I can go off of width because all of them are the same width. So they are nine inches wide, or that's what they're supposed to be. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the wide from 6.75 to nine inches even and hit the enter. And because I have this pad lock lock, it automatically resizes it to the size it's supposed to be. Okay. Same steps. You can do the exact same thing. Just make sure that your pad lock is locked in place whenever you go to resize your stuff. Um, thank you so very much, Miss Ernique, for the super <laughs> thing. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes. Holler. Thank you so much, Ernique. We appreciate it. And we definitely enjoy helping bring bling to the masses. So what I'm going to do for me, I've already cut this out. I've already cut this out. I just wanted to show you what the design was. But let's talk about resizing, okay? Because this is a super cute design that could easily be done for a kid. Um, or you could make it bigger for those earthy hef heifers like myself that have a little bit more real estate on their shirts and I could go bigger. So in this instance, let's look at resizing. Now I'm going to, let's see, who do we want to play with today? Um, I think Romeo is up and ready. So we'll play with Romeo today. All right. So let's close this out. I just wanted to simply show you how I resize that there. And I'm not going to save any of that. And then I'm going to pull up Leonardo so that we can play with Romeo, okay? Hey, Delanda, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Jeeves, welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. So I'm closing that out. Let me, where is Romeo? There, I mean, Leonardo. So many men folks in my life. I just, I gotta keep the name straight. It's a shame. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna slide this over and I'm gonna share my screen again. I wanted to make sure it pulled up properly. Okay, so here is Caesar's Leonardo. That's the name of the program. And we're going to go to design. So here is a 12 by 12 square. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to import a file. All right, so let's go to downloads and we're going to go to bubble love because that's the name of the design. I'm not going to do the design space one. I'm going to come down here and get the regular one because like I told you, Leonardo should be able to handle this, okay? So we'll see. I'm going to do cut only because that's what I intend to do. And why did that disappear? Hold on. That disappeared and it shouldn't have, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. All right. And so we'll hit apply and it did come in anyway. So the way I'm going to resize this template is going to be the entire design okay so number one actually let's 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 listen linda listen 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 linda when you go to resize a rhinestone template you have to resize the whole thing all of it all together because if you don't then you really don't know how to resize 
the parts separately. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So we're going to grab the entire design and we're going to resize it. Okay. So let me go back into uh, the screen so that you can see um, Leonardo again. Okay. So now this is the one up top that I'm going to cut. And the reason why I'm going to cut this one. So the way Dennis puts his files together, good night, Ernie. Have a good night, my love. The way Dennis puts his designs together, he puts the, like the whole design all in one thing so that you'll know how it lines up and how it's supposed to look when you put it together. And then he gives the separate pieces, however many layers it is, in their own separate box, bounding box, on down, okay? So I'm only going to use one color to do this design tonight. And I'll show you why. It's no sweat. But for the time being, if you want to do this yourself and you want to do two different colors, then you would need to grab these two and resize them together. So let's click on this and I'm going to ungroup, okay? So whenever I ungroup and I click again, see now this one is separate, this one is separate, and then this one is separate as well. All of the pieces are separate. So if I wanted to shrink this so that I could put it on a kid's shirt, notice I grabbed both boxes. I just drew a containment box around both bottom pieces. And all I have to do is just drag this down and resize it and make it smaller for this project. And I'm going to tell you how we're going to do this here in a minute. By doing this project with this hack, it kind of matters how big or how small you make it, but it kind of doesn't, okay? Again, I'm going to get to that in a minute. So this is how you would resize it. And that way, you know, when you cut this out, both of them will still fit together because you cut, you resize them both at the same time, okay? But I'm not going to use these tonight, so I'm going to delete that. And this love one, I'm actually going to make it bigger. That's what I want to do with mine. So notice the bounding box should be nine by five. Here it is. It's nine wide. I didn't have to resize that, and it's five high. So it came into Leonardo at the right size. So now that I have this selected, I'm going to resize it, and I'm going to make it bigger, okay? Because I again, have enough real estate to make this bigger for myself. All right, so here it is. This is actually 11.778. And I'm going to bring it down just a smidge, just a smidgety smidge to 11 and a half, okay? So I'm going to take this off and make it an even 11 and a half. So here we go. This is where we are. This is what is going to cut out. All right. Now, I haven't cut from Leonardo like this before. So hold on. Let's um, weld, weld, weld. Do, 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 do. Let's see if this works. So I want to punch out and remove. Let's see if that works the way I think it's going to work, the way I want it to work. I don't know. Yep, it did. Holla. So this part did, but that part still didn't, but that's okay. We're going to put it right back in there. Put it right back in there. Get in there. All right. And so now I'm going to do it again. And hopefully this time it'll grab that outline. Let's see if it will. It might and it might not, but we're going to check and see. So this is for all rhinestone templates. Okay, so it did not do it this time. So let me see. Let's see. It doesn't have to, actually. So let's move this down. No, actually, it is supposed to, y'all, because I want it to cut all at one time. No, this does not only work in Leonardo, actually. So let me... Where did it go? Let's undo. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. So I'm going to group this. Let me see something. Let's send this to design. So I want to keep the positions. I don't want to separate it by color. Use this go to send. And I want to see if... Okay. So it is hopefully going to cut it out. What trick did Delonda teach me? Hold on. Because Delonda taught me to build contours. Look at that. 
the contours did not include the holes. Include the holes. So let's print and cut again. And see, let's hit apply. Let's go to print and cut editable. See that part I definitely want. And I can see the dots right there. It didn't change the stone size. Not yet. No, it did not. Include the holes. Let's see. Let's hit apply. So with Leonardo, and I'm going to show you this since you guys, I want I don't want to confuse you. This works, this hack will work with any of the cutting programs, any of the cutting machines, any rhinestone design for the most part. Okay. So editable. Have a design just made and want to shrink it so I plan. Okay. But this is not, this is going to be a hack to the rhinestones, okay? Because you cannot, I'm going to, hold on, let, listen, Linda, listen, listen, okay. I want to make sure I'm not confusing you. I don't want, I don't want to lose anybody. This is a hack for doing a rhinestone design and being able to resize it to any size you want. The problem with resizing a rhinestone design is this. For those who don't know, most of you already know this because I talk about it. I've talked about it quite a few times. And if you've taken my class, I talk about it in my class. So whenever you make a rhinestone design, there are set sizes for the size rhinestones that you want to use in that design. That's why you cannot resize a regular rhinestone design for rhinestones because, for instance, the design that you see that I was using a moment ago, that is for an SS10 size rhinestone. So that's why when you bring his design in and he says it needs to be nine by five, it has to be nine by five. Because if it's not nine by five, then all of those holes will be the wrong size and your SS10 size rhinestones will not brush into the template. Okay. Alternatively, if you wanted to resize this design, you're going to have to do a hack. Now, in some instances, you probably could resize all of the holes with the right rhinestone creation software. Like, for instance, Silhouette uh, Business Edition, you can resize holes and drop them down to maybe like an SS6 size stone and make it smaller or increase it to like an SS16 size stone and make the design bigger that way. For rhinestones, specific size rhinestones, you could, but some designs that won't work because of how the patterns connect into each other. It can cause the design to fail, basically. You would think it would work properly, but it actually won't. Well, in this instance, is, in this instance, this is an alternative that you can use to get a rhinestone look, but you're not going to be using rhinestones. I just want to make that clear because there are so many super cute rhinestone designs out there, or you may not want to do rhinestones or get into buying rhinestones and all of that stuff. This is a more affordable option and it gives you the opportunity to resize a rhinestone design and still maintain that rhinestone look, okay? Again, we're going to get into the materials here in a little bit, but I don't want to confuse you any more than what I probably already have, okay? But for right now, the only reason why I'm doing this in Leonardo is because Romeo is already on, and I can go ahead and put the vinyl in it. It's on and everything, whereas as you see up here, this is my Cricut Maker. I could use the Cricut in Cricut Design Space, but uh, Prince is not turned on. He's up there. He's covered up. He's tucked in for the night. So that's why I'm not using Cricut Design Space or using um, my Cricut Maker. And then down here, I have my Cameo. I could use the Cameo, but I'm not going to use the Cameo because my Cameo, far as I can remember, it was cutting my circles as ovals. I don't want that either. So I'm not using my Cameo. My Cameo works great for my stickers and labels and stuff. But for cutting out rhinestone templates, I'm not using that. 
So yes, you can definitely import other rhinestone designs, no matter whose rhinestone design it is, and you can resize it. You just have to be careful about how small you go with the holes because we're going to be cutting a material that you can cut pretty small holes and make this work, but you don't want to go too terribly teeny and then have a hard time weeding it and stuff because this is going to be some vinyl, okay? So let's go back. Let me share the screen. That's the only reason I'm using Leonardo is because Leonardo is already turned on. Now, he may not cut this red outline because what I've been noticing is um, it's been jacking it up whenever I go to try and cut it like that. So, you know what? Let me, let's, let's do this, actually. Let's do this. To make sure that it cuts everything it's supposed to, I am going to go ahead and grab the design space version. We're going to cut only. We'll hit next. The only downside to this, though, is it's going to make me cut it separate. And that's not what I wanted. Hmm. It's going to make me cut this separate. So let's see if I can't change that some kind of way. Um, no, I don't think I can. Edible contour include holes. Nope, it just did it the way I thought it was. Okay, so I'm learning Leonardo, but I want this to cut together. So let me ungroup one more time. You're talking about for the other one? Let's see. Uh, let's go back to that one then and we'll ungroup again. Cut only, and let's go next, apply. And I'm going to move this, and I'm going to move this, because this is the other one. Okay. Move this one. All right, so let's ungroup. Let's ungroup. And I think I see what you're saying, Mr. Dennis. Hold on. Let's move this. There's that. Yep, there it is. Thank you, Dennis. This is what I want, actually. So let's delete this one, delete this one, delete this, 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 and this, okay? So I can't, I can see it barely. You can see the holes there. Um, let me, yep, you can see the holes. Let me make sure this isn't, that's not grouped either. Okay. So now I'm going to do what you said, Delanda. Thank you, Dennis. I appreciate that because you know I stress out about everything. Um, cut only. So hopefully those holes will cut because see, they're not lit up. They are right here. So I think that's right. Let's hit apply and we're just going to go with it because no shapes fully on the mat page. My bad. My mat is the wrong size. Hold on. Let's go to paper size. Nope. Cutting mat. Oh, this is not a print and cut job. That's why it's doing that. Okay. This is not print and cut. All right. So now let's send the design. Everything looks like it's good. Selected artwork only, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now let's go. You can come to the box and cut out. I'm not going to because Miss Gail over it at this point. Okay, so make it the same color. It is supposed to be the same color. Uh, don't separate by color. So it should all cut together. All right, so you guys. So let's switch over to the cutting table. And then I can show you guys. This is not the right thing. Let's go here. I can show you guys the um, material that we're going to be using to give you the rhinestone look, okay? So that you can resize it. Oh, you know what? I didn't even resize the design. How crazy is that? I got to resize it because I wanted it to be bigger. But this is what I found, okay? And notice they even have it cut out like rhinestones right there on the um, picture of the back of the stuff. But this is Caesar. Same company that Romeo um, is from. And this is called Holographic Vinyl. I'm sure you guys might have heard of it, but there, I'm sure there's a lot in here who don't know about Holographic Vinyl, okay? 
So that's why we're going over this. If you want to resize a rhinestone design, this is how you can do it. And you're probably like, okay, but it's not rhinestones. Well, it's not. But this is an awesome alternative. Like I said earlier, it is affordable. And it will look just like rhinestones okay from a distance it'll look just like rhinestones this is also a great alternative for children little children because i know sometimes uh folks will have a hesitation about using rhinestones for little ones to make sure they don't put it in their mouths um or if any stones come loose you don't want children uh accidentally ingesting rhinestones that's why we don't suggest you use rhinestones for children, but look at how that sparkles. Do you see that? Do you see that? Look at how pretty that is. So what's going to happen is this exact same reflection that you see with this holographic vinyl is going to mimic the look of rhinestones, okay? So let's get our Caesar mat together. And then I'm going to um, put this on the mat and I'm going to resize that design and then send it over here to cut. Okay. So this is not quite 12 inches, which is fine. Because I said I wanted it to be 11 and a half anyways. So let me see how big it's going to take it when I do it to 11 and a half. I did forget to resize it. Uh, let's see. 10, 11. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Perfect, perfect. So that's going to be, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six inches high, it looks like. So I'm going to cut this at seven inches. Alrighty. Now, this is one yard that came on this roll. Um, I don't remember if it was on sale, but I know the price on the rack was um, $18 for this. Um, but you can oftentimes find this on sale. That would be the better time to purchase when it's on sale. Actually, let me go seven and a half. Just be on the safe side. Okay. So again, this is just simply a way, a means to allow you to resize a rhinestone design. Simply, that's all this is for is to give you what you need in order to go bigger or smaller than the actual rhinestone design was created for. Again, you don't want to go too super small when you're going to cut these holes out to make sure that everything, you know, does like it's supposed to um, with the rhinestone design. Looks like I'm going to have to tape this down some because my mat isn't super sticky. It's not super sticky. So I'm going to add a little bit of scotch tape. Because, well, actually. Let's see. I don't know. This tape is kind of old. I don't know if it'll work. This painter's tape is a little thinner. And like I said, you can, yeah, this tape is old as dirt. Um, you can use this as a means to uh, make a shirt for, like I said, a kid or make a design smaller or larger, or however you want to do it. Again. Um, but I just would love for you to see just how close it resembles rhinestones. So, Holographic vinyl does come in a wide variety of colors. 
You don't have to do just this rainbow, okay? This is all I saw at Michael's. So, you know, that's the only reason I picked this. Um, this was the only holographic vinyl that I saw at Michael's. So if you wanted to do this with the two-layer version, you can. You definitely can. You can get two different color vinyls, holographic vinyls, and mimic that design. So if you get holographic silver, it'll mimic crystal. You see what I'm saying? So on and so forth. So let's move this out of the way and get this moved forward. I've been busy working with all kind of stuff when we were doing our patches. Oh, and I'm going to show you the patches and stuff here in a moment. I got stuff everywhere, y'all. Here are the journals I was making the other day. All right. So then I'll show you the rhinestone template and we'll bling it as well. Okay. So hopefully this will stay put like it is supposed to. Alrighty. And then I'm going to move this up and put the blade in the corner like I was taught. And then I'm going to go into the cut settings. This is not glitter. This is holographic, which they do have a preset setting in um, Romeo for this, which is awesome sauce. So I'm going to just for my own peace of mind, bump this up to 20. Because every other preset I've been doing, it's not, uh, woo, don't want that. It's not uh, doing what it's supposed to, okay? All right, so there's my cut settings. There's my holographic vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and send it. And then what we'll do is we will um, show you the rhinestone template, Okay. So it's already over here on the machine. I already cut it out because we don't want drama with the machines not acting right. Even if that didn't act right, this is already cut. Okay. So now one thing I will mention, I don't know for those who may have been paying attention um, to our um when we're doing templates and stuff and how the templates haven't been weeding all of the purple dots out. And I've been using my uh, lint roller to get all the dots out. I found out what's wrong. So because my blade is old and it's been used and cut out multiple templates because I cut templates out for the beginner's kits too. So I've worn my blade down, so I had to increase the pressure. So once I increase the pressure, now I get majority of my dots to come out like it used to. So keep that in mind. If you're going to cut any flock, I don't care what flock it is, and you're cutting it and it's not weeding all of the dots out like that, increase your pressure a little and see that that should make the difference in you getting a clean cut okay so let me get a topping mat to put this on so that we can store it when it's done you're welcome kevin because i don't like dots on my hands so i had to do something y'all it was it was crazy okay so that's one part of it and then here's the other part So I went ahead and cut it out um, with the layers, but I'm going to bling the one without the layers, okay? And that one is right here. So I'll go ahead and get these dots out like that. Just make sure 
All these others are in there. And you gotta be a little quick with it so that it does not um, stay stuck to it and look crazy. All right, and so I need to put this with this one. Come up just a little bit. All right, so that's template one, template two, or template one, template two, however you want to do it. Uh, but because it's the exact same template, I'm just going to put the um, one that's all of it on the back side. Okay. So let's grab this. Let's kill this one. Boom. Look at the perfection. Holler. Yas. Okay. So that's done. Perfect. Not a dot left behind. And so I'm going to put this right here. All right. And let's throw this away and let's blink that. So we're going to do this in our, let's see. Let's go with some chrome. while that's cutting. Thank you, Yvonne. This actually is not our design. This is on the Rhinestone Mechanics website. The link is in the description. And if you click that uh, link, it'll take you to the mystery box. This is inside the mystery box, which I spoiled the mystery. I apologize again to Dennis, um, but he was so kind and said it's okay to spoil the surprise. So. Here is this one, and this is Fuchsia Chrome that we're using for this. Oh, we put my heat press back on. It was on earlier. I need to change the timer on my heat press because, you know, have it at least on for an hour after I'm done with it. Because I think it's set for something like 15 minutes or something crazy not long enough All right and for the time being if you need rhinestone supplies like the brush that we're using tonight or um the flock rhinestone flock things of that nature you can find this on our website at hypexpix.store and if you didn't know for right now if you make any purchase on hypexpix.store and your total is over $100, and you get free shipping. Just simply choose the free shipping option, and you will get your product shipped for free. All right, so keep that in mind if you are unaware. All right, and this is the new one of our new colors, this is Fuchsia Chrome. It kind of has a metallic look to it. So not quite um, crystal like our usual stones. It is still made of glass, um, but it has a chrome look to it. So definitely um, grab these because it's a really pretty color. And it will look great on your white shirts. It'll look great on anything, actually. It still, it blings very well. All right, so I am going to cut this. I used it already. I'm going to use it again. And I'm going to cut it down because when you have too big of a piece of transfer tape, um and you go to pick up your rhinestones, it can get stuck to surrounding surfaces and make things a little difficult for you. So I'm cutting it down so that I don't have to struggle so hard picking it up. All right, and now I'm going to, we're gonna do this pink bag. I 
All right, and so we have a pink tote bag that we're going to use to bling this, and then we can we can do a giveaway for the pink tote bag. Because I have three hundred fifty three thousand six hundred and seventy eight tote bags. Okay, so I don't need one more. So we're going to do a giveaway of the tote bag. But for right now, let me pick this up the right way with my scoop. So here's our bling scoop. I'm just going to slide it right here under that mat. Slide these off onto the scoop. And then you can hold both sides and tilt it. And pour them right out. Absolutely love this scoop. Okay. And then we're going to put our rubber band back on our container so that the lid doesn't come off. Be careful with those whenever you do them. But yeah, this is a beautiful design. You definitely can use this to make you some extra moolah um, and sell some shirts with this design on it. Um, this is almost halfway, not quite. Oh, you can't see that. It's almost halfway through cutting. So keep that in mind. I'm going to move this to the side. Where's my board? And I had a little bit of gold. Yeah. to get a board because this is heat sensitive and it'll warp it'll go if i put heat on it all right so here is the pink bag pink tote bag this is a cuties bag brand bag q the letter q and t e e s there we go i think this is the label yeah is a QT's bag and it's a fairly heavy duty um canvas i want to say this is 12 ounce canvas i'll look it up if someone wants to know what the weight of it is because there are some canvas bags out there that are um super inexpensive and they are super super floppy and then you got this kind it is a promotional type of tote bag but it's still is a, a pretty decent weight to it all right so let's see what this chrome fuchsia chrome looks like on here I'm bring this down a little itty bitty bit okay this is fuchsia chrome for right now I'm just keeping it simple doing one color so that um we can see a template that will allow you to how you have to use the template in the size that the template is created versus what we're cutting the holographic vinyl right now where you can resize it make it bigger or smaller do you recommend those who don't have leonardo software and we want to create a rhinestone template should we get silhouette software business edition denise there are a couple of different software programs out there Silhouette Business Edition is an excellent one. Um, you also have the, a lot of it depends on your budget too, um, but the uh, shortcuts a lot can be used to create rhinestone templates as well. Um, and it's a little more affordable than the Silhouette Business Edition, but not that much. You know, Silhouette Business Edition is an excellent program. And here is the Future Chrome on the tote bag super pretty Ooh, pretty so this is the fuchsia chrome super pretty absolutely love that chrome stone that glass oh, it's beautiful um the medium ice boxes are on the website depends on what you're calling medium um, cause here is our 250 gross, which is the regular ice box. And this is a junior ice box. See, it's shorter. So these are the two 
and the ice chips. These are the sizes that we have. What is easier to use? What do you mean? What one is easier to use? Oh, you're talking about the software? It, it should be on the website, Miss Joy. Um, it should say Junior. Um, I would say shortcuts a lot is easier. But I like... Um, Silhouette Business Edition myself personally. I can create rhinestone designs in Microsoft Excel. All rhinestone designs is having the right size dot and the right size gap between the dots. That is true. So, Dennis, if there's some kind of class out there to show how to create templates in Excel, <laughs> I haven't seen one, but I know there's quite a few programs out there floating around that you can use to um, do make rhinestone templates so well, making your own rhinestone templates already did the beginning i don't have well so that class alice is with uh craftable things so if you go to craftable things.com then it whenever she's ready she'll post um the link to the class when she has it scheduled but i don't that class myself that's a class done um by craftable things okay so we're going to do this again but we're going to play and have a little bit of fun a little bit of fun we're going to put another love on this same bag you know what i'll put a number two right there love to love that would be super cute let us play with so that was fuchsia what color y'all want to see in addition to fuchsia do you want to see the aqua chrome or the green chrome on this bag i think aqua chrome would be dope we have aqua chrome and we have green chrome or i can do um one of the other metallic looking colors like um jet hematite or Aurum or Labrador, Aqua, 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 Aqua is winning. Hey, Maureen, welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being new. Okay, so let's do Aqua because Aqua is beating it hands down. Okay, so let's do Aqua. Yeah, arm AB would have been pretty too. So in doing rhinestone templates, again, the whole purpose of what we're doing today, um, this is a preset size template. This is full made. This template was made for this size rhinestone. Okay. You typically cannot resize a rhinestone design and still use rhinestones in it unless you really know what you're doing when you go to resize it so to make things easier if you are determined to resize a rhinestone like it's just way too big and you're just like totally over it well here's an option where we're resizing we resize the template um but we're not using actual rhinestones hot fix rhinestones we're using holographic vinyl to give you a rhinestone look okay so we call them faux rhinestones faux rhinestones and they're going to look just like me oh cool beans tina if you do uh, want to give them a try we have a beginner's kit that you can grab on our website um, the beginner's kit comes with the pouch with all the utensils you need minus the heat press it also comes with template a template on the inside a really simple template and the transfer tape to pick it up and rhinestones if you want to give it a shot it also comes with the scoop the bling pin tweezers the whole nine see it's a simple template it's already cut you don't have to do the cutting part 
Um, and if you like blinging, then that's when we'll graduate to big girl status and get some flock, get the cutting machine, get your heat press. So, well, you'll need a heat press. You don't absolutely have to have a heat press, but for best results, we definitely suggest that you have a heat press that you can set the temperature and adjust the pressure is needed, okay? Because with like the Cricut Easy Press, you can set the temperature, but the pressure is pretty much based on how strong you are. <laughs> if you're not strong enough to squish these stones down and, and whatnot, then the stones uh, glue can fail after a few washes. So you definitely have to have the correct pressure on your um, heat press to make sure that your stones don't fail the glue rather all right so i am using my wax pen to just basically pick up these individual stones and fill in these holes because our holographic has finished And when you go to use this wax pen to pick up these stones to move them around, just barely, barely touch the surface of the stone. You don't have to put any force or pressure uh, because, or extreme force or pressure, just barely touch the stone to pick them up because you don't want to transfer the wax from the pen to the top of the stone because that wax makes the pen, the, mm, the wax makes the top of the stone non-stick and we need it to stick with the transfer tape okay so definitely don't put a lot of pressure on your stones when you go to pick them up okay all right so here's our aqua chrome i'm gonna put that in there we pick our stones up after we're done so that we don't spill or mix up stones. And be careful working around your template once it's all brushed in. You bump this table, it will knock stones out of place in most instances. So just be super careful. All right. And so here is the aqua chrome. And as soon as we're done with this, we'll grab the um, holographic off. And then we'll press that after we press this. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So I'm just going to stick this right up under it because I think I am going to put a number two in there some kind of way. All right. And so let's press this. And I don't have a camera set up over here. I've been meaning to do it, y'all. I apologize. It is like sometimes a little too difficult to get cameras set up and all of that. Okay, so this is ready. Hey, Dorica. Welcome, my dear. Thank you for coming. All right, so here this is. I'm going to set it to the side for now because this will be done now and let's put our board back because this is super hot and we'll do our peel reveal so there's the fuchsia and i did press it all all over again you can press your stones more than one time it's not gonna hurt anything as long as it's at the right temperature and here is the aqua super cute holler super beautiful and blingy Super pretty. Cute design. Very simple. Very easy to do. And as you see, I took a two-color design and made it a one-color design. You can do that as well. It's not a difficult task. Okay. So here's this bag. Now let's move to our um, holographic vinyl that I had to take down. Because my mat isn't super sticky. You know what I didn't do? What did I not do, y'all? This is holographic vinyl. What did I not do? What did I forget to do? Unless the, unless it did it for me. It might have done it for me. I don't know. Sometimes it will. 
Let's see. Nope, it did not do it for me. Yas, who is that? LA Artistry, Karen D. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't mirror. But I'm not stressed out about that. Let's see. We'll cut it out again. But this time, let's see. Do I have something? I think I have something we can press this on anyway, just so that you can see the... Um, So that you can see the um, way the holographic looks. So cool thing about weeding a rhinestone design is just you just do one pull. It's all it takes. And because this is Caesar. They had the settings already there. Oh, that one didn't come off. Yep, I'm glad I increased the pressure like I told myself to do. I think I need a new blade. Is that a hole missing? Yep, I got a couple of holes missing right here. Hold on. See, if I hadn't increased the pressure, this would have been a whole disaster. It's a disaster anyway. <laughs> It's a disaster anyway because I forgot the weed, but it's not like a disaster. It could be so much worse. All right. Let's see. Look, it still ain't wanting to come off. So we're going to have to cut this again anyways. You know what? It don't matter. All right. Now it don't. Uh-oh. Come on now. Holographic. Holographic. Ooh, ooh. Holographic. Ooh, ooh. Okay. It didn't peel properly, but that's okay because that, that's not the point. This is what I want to show you. I'm going to actually let's increase the force. Uh, come on, fam. There we go. I don't know why. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to cut it again. But take a look at that. Look at how it mimics. Looks like rhinestones but we're gonna cut this again and we're gonna mirror it we are going to mirror i'm gonna have to tape it down again see this is why you have backup and go ahead and cut the bling version because crap happens on your live and things don't always cooperate there you go Okay, so I said seven. That was too big when I did seven and a half. So we're going to stick to seven. Like I originally said. And I increased the pressure this time. So it should weed um, completely like it's supposed to. Oh, I did resize it. I did end up resizing. That was something else I was going to show here in a second. Um, how much bigger it is versus what's on the bag. Because I resized it. All right. So let's tape this down again. And I need to order blades for this and for graph tech. Because I, I don't know what it is. I beat up my blades. Cutting out tons of stuff. And so for each of those beginner kits, um, I cut out templates for those. So I use a lot of blades to cut out all these templates. All right. So let's get this in there. Lined up. And then stick scooch. Leonardo will remember your last setting for mirror. So after HTV, you have to uncheck it to cut flop without the miss mirror lesson learned. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, because I did not um, tell it to mirror. So we're going to hit mirror and send to cutter. And there we go. All right. So there's something else I was supposed to show you guys anyway. But really quickly, I'm going to show you. 
Um, and it's all the fluid. And Marine, you was trying to help your son, Marine. Well, it depends, Maureen, on what the comment is. Sometimes there are comments that aren't allowed here. I didn't see what they were. So um, depending upon what it is, what the comment is, because we, we try to keep down drama and stuff. And if there's drama, then we're going to remove comments. So even if you're trying to be helpful, we try to keep things positive. But at any rate, here are the SS10 stones. Um, and here is the uh, holographic. Look at how much bigger those holes are versus these rhinestones. So that's what that is. Oh, Miss Maureen, there's a reason for it. It's okay. He'll be okay. Tell him send me a message and we'll deal with it later. But this is not the time for that. Um, but this is the larger. This is the bigger size. And this is the smaller size. So I resized it and made it bigger so that it will look super cute on my shirt. Okay. So we have this here, and now I'm going to show you what we did last night, because you remember I told you guys we did a project last night, and I want you guys to see that, because that was a lot of fun. Doing these patches was a lot of fun, and like I told, um, like I told, um, yikes, that just made me draw a blank. Earlier, I mentioned that I did go to Kohl's, and I did go to Kohl's, and I'm going to show you what I got. But at any rate, here's the patch that I embroidered. This is from um, Craftable Things. This is her patch that she created. It is on her website. It says, Created to Create, and she did the colors, and she did like a geo, like a geographic cut i love that and she also has this in a rhinestone design as well so definitely check this out All the rhinestone design and the patch is on her website craftablethings.com so here is the um patch that she made and i i hand placed the rhinestones around that but she also has a rhinestone um thing for this as well but it goes around the outside of the patch and i kind of wanted it on the inside so i may do the outside one too i don't know it depends and i'm gonna show you that in a minute and then here's the diamonds that i offered as well these are patches as well these are on our website hotfixfix.store and these are um any color you can put them in any color and i do have the rhinestone template that goes over the top of it in the file as well okay so there's a couple of ways you can apply patches um i don't want to go too much into it because the show tonight isn't about patches but you can put heat and bond on the back of this or you can stitch this on you just have to be careful and avoid the rhinestones or you can stitch this on and add the rhinestones after. You can do it that way, too. Uh, but if you add the stones first, you can stitch along the satin border um, to get this applied. Now, I didn't get a, I didn't end up getting a jean jacket. That's what I was going to go get, but I'm going to show you what I did get. And I am very excited to put this together. So, because I love these. I mean, I have several pair of them and these are you know I, we used to call them farmer johns i don't know what the you know overalls whatever coveralls overalls whatever oh this says overalls and so i'm going to bling the pockets when i do get around to doing this project y'all know how i am i have great intentions i want to do stuff and can't never get around to doing it but i'm hoping i'll be able to get this done because i did do one set of coveralls before they were shorts and I bling the pocket and I bling the straps. 
Um, and I also bling out this diamond part back here of my other ones, and they were super cute. But y'all, check this out, man. So if I were to do these, I could put the patches all down the leg, man. I saw that I'm like, oh, it was not that one because that's somebody else's. But look, I could put the patches on the leg. How cute would that be? How how adorable would that be? Wouldn't that be cute? Just put a bunch of patches, and I, so she also has one that says um, sisterhood. I'm, I bought it last night. I'm going to stitch that out and put that on and see mine are all going to be purple. I'm just letting you know that now. For those who might be curious, all my patches are going to have purple of some sort in it. So the sisterhood will be purple some kind of way and that will be on here too. And I'm going to see about getting enough patches to go all the way down. This is going to be adorable. This is going to be adorable. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to be Grammy hip and just do one leg with patches and bling something on the other leg or if i'm gonna be grammy you know just old school grammy and do patches on both legs and not just be, try to be cool and do this way you know what i'm saying i'm trying i'm trying to be here so that's the plan and i just thought this was a cute idea instead of doing a jacket because i do have two jean jackets already with rhinestones on the back uh, the one jacket has the angel wings the other jacket has dennis's tiger on the back and i was like i couldn't find the white jean jacket which is what i wanted and i wouldn't have been able to get it for tonight so when i saw this i was like uh -huh, i love coveralls so i'm gonna get this instead and so this is gonna be my project now we're supposed to be doing more patches and stuff um together so please keep an eye out um in the facebook group as well as getting um information from our uh not newsletter because newsletter isn't for uh embroidery but our community tab here on youtube okay eva it is is the if you have to select free shipping free shipping should be an option you have to choose it if it's over 100 it has to be subtotal over 100 so yeah this is the plan i'm gonna show you the blue even though blue ain't going on here but this is this one is look at how that's sapphire on there y'all with that royal guitar like right? these turned out so cute so yeah this is what we were working on yesterday if you missed it i am so sorry you missed it we had a really good time um it was a lot of fun being able to meet up and talk with each other and see how everybody was doing and all of that jazz um it was just it was phenomenal it was phenomenal so i'm excited to see um us do more with that so back to the regularly scheduled program um i just wanted to show y'all that project that we did so the htv uh holographic is cutting we have our one bag. We can make us another bag. Why not? Um, we're going to go with blue. A blue bag this time. And I'm going to use green foam. Oops. Grab this one. Okay. And so when you're applying rhinestones, and when you apply holographic vinyl, because holographic vinyl is a heat applied decoration. Hey, Sheila, it's heat applied decoration. So you should pre-press your blank before you put your vinyl, before you put your rhinestones, before you do anything. You need to pre-press because what's going to happen is if you don't pre-press, then that allow you getting the moisture out when you prepress so if you don't get the moisture out then eventually you'll cause premature failure of your rhinestones of your vinyl your heat applied vinyl um even screen printing you should be pre-pressing your blanks before you even screen print because that's a heat applied uh material as well they have to cure it with heat so Definitely pre-press your stuff so that you don't DTF, pre-press before that, everything. You, you don't want to have moisture 
in your garments or your fabrics um, before you apply your stuff. If you don't, it won't hurt anything. It'll still go. It won't hurt anything at the time and it'll still go on there, but it could definitely prematurely fail. I've seen it many times, not in my own practice because I make a point to do it, but I've seen it in others. Um, a friend of ours was very frustrated at why his shirts would come back and folks would be upset because the vinyl and the DTF no, no, it wasn't DTF at the time. It was vinyl. The vinyl kept coming off. And I was like, fam, are you pre-pressing it? And he was, what do you mean pre-press? Fam, you got to get the moisture out. And he started pre-pressing. Shirt stopped coming back. I saw it with my own two eyes. I was like, I am so glad that the person that taught me taught me ahead of time so that I didn't have to worry about shirts coming back and stuff. So usually when I mention something or talk about something, it's because it's something that I've experienced personally um, and seen because I'm one of those people. I'm very, eh, I want to say analytical. I don't know that that's the right word, but I was one of those kids. You can tell me not to do something, but it makes an impact more if you explain why. Like, for instance, you know, our kids, you can't go in there, Johnny. Why? Well, because, you know, this is mom and dad's time in there. You might see something you don't need to see type situation. So it's like if you tell a person, well, that's because this is dangerous or that stove is hot. That's what I'm saying. Don't touch it. It's like, oh, OK, well, then I won't do it. So usually a person explains to me what a situation is. I'm like, oh, see, that makes sense. So that's why I usually teach that way. Um but sometimes folks just think, you know, because I'm not a know-it-all. I don't know everything. But sometimes folks kind of want to be, oh, what she thinks is that. No, it's not that I think. It's something I've seen or been through. So you can do it if you want to. You don't have to. This is based on my own personal experiences. You don't have to pre-press if you don't want to. But, you know, just don't be too sad when your shirts come back or customers are like, nice stones fell off. And then you be wanting to say that it's the stones. No, you didn't pre-press. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. But at any rate, I was wondering if my stones come off. But do yes, fam, you have to pre-press and you have to have pressure. Using that quick and easy press, it can work. The stones will stick. Just like stone rhinestones will stick to htv vinyl temporarily like you can press them on there they'll press matter of fact i'll show you i'll show you an example right here oh forgive me i was looking rough but i went to a comic-con and these are rhinestones on vinyl that's a solid circle nothing cut out on nothing and these are rhinestones crystals that i pressed to that 350 degrees 12 seconds that's i our stones i recommend 350 degrees that's my recommendation because that's what has been consistent for me with our stones other stones like cheaper stones can go with a lower temperature uh, cheaper stones don't have to have as high a pressure either but these are not they have decent quality glue on them they need pressure and they need temperature right so i did press these and they look great while i was there i was blinging i was cute i knew i was cute fire it was hot as the blue dickens because it was summertime so i sweated i got home and i was like "Ooh, this is cute but i sweated so let me wash this when i took this out the washing machine every single stone was in my washing machine they came right off they're not going to stay stuck to this vinyl they will not stay stuck to the vinyl i mean they'll stick like you see they did stick and i was able to wear it i was cute oh i thought i was cute i know i was cute bump that i was cute but they didn't last so i'm just saying you know we, we recommend things we say things you know not to be 
Just telling it like it is. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Ain't no point. I have no reason to lie to you whatsoever. I just want to help you and want to see you succeed. So definitely give some good firm pressure. Definitely give it good firm pressure and um, pre press 350 degrees, no less than 12 to 15 seconds. No less. And if you press it on for, did I see something? Let me make sure. Okay, if you press it on and it seems like it's not sticking, press press down on the hot transfer and peel, peel it back to see if that makes the stone stick. If it's not sticking, then that usually is a pressure issue. Usually. Usually it's a pressure issue. Okay. So we got our blue bag. I think this is going to be super pretty. Here's the blue that I'm going to use. This is a teal. And the camera is just not treating this bag right. Like, okay, you see how dark blue it is right here on this section of the strap? The whole bag is this color. But the camera has it lighter. It's crazy. So, uh, look like a stone is turned over in the L. No, the glue is just super dark on that one. I don't know why. That's what I was looking at earlier. It's not turned over. Yeah, I thought I thought it was I thought it was a stone that didn't have glue on it, but I see glue, so I don't know what the deal is with that. If it doesn't stick, then I'll know that the glue wasn't on there good, and I'll take it back off. But we can repress that over here. And like I said, at some point I hope to have a camera over there. It's ten forty one, so this should be done here shortly. It's almost done, so that's good timing. And Eva, if you just email me, we'll try and figure out what's going on with your order. Just email me. Because sometimes trying to figure that out while we're live is just really not work. All righty. So here's our bag. Let me get my board. And see what this green chrome looks like. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful green. Green chrome. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Eva. So this is green chrome. This is the fuchsia chrome. Fuchsia chrome, and then this is the aqua chrome. And look at that timing. Romeo is done. Okay, so let's set this to the side. Let's grab out Romeo. Now that we mirrored, now that we mirrored, mirrored, and I increased the pressure. So hopefully it weeds like it's supposed to. Because this is the thing that you have to keep in mind. No matter what cutting machine you use, no matter what cutting machine you use. Oh, okay, Sheila. Yeah, that's I, I gotta change that. That's my my bad. Hopefully, the she didn't finish the purchase. If she did, then I'll give her the shipping back. Um, but no matter what machine, cutting machine you use, there will be recommended pressures and stuff, but your machine might be different. Why would that be the case? Why would why would your machine possibly be different from mine? Why would I have to increase the pressure over what they recommend on the machine? Well, it's because my blade could be worn down more. Look at that. Look at look at that. I increased the pressure. Now look. Look at it. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you're, you know, my pressure needed to be more because my blade is going dull. So don't get upset when someone gives you recommended pressure and stuff and it doesn't work. You gave me the wrong pressure or I've been using that pressure and it's not working. Increase the pressure. Sometimes you, sometimes you have to have a fail. Sometimes you have to have a fail because sometimes even a test cut, if you do just a small section of a test cut, 
sometimes even a small section of a test cut will not turn out proper properly. You know, I hate to say that. Sometimes you got to waste a little bit in order to get it right if you've been using your machine a lot. Okay. Um, Karen, that's the plan. So look at that. Oh, that's pretty. So let's get us another bag. So we use that color bag. I'm going to go with this color bag this time. I think that's going to be really pretty on this. And this will be the last bag we press tonight. I kind of wanted to, I wanted to do a giveaway of these bags, but I didn't get to put the number two on that one bag like I wanted. Um, but I may have to just do a giveaway with it the way it is. But you see how much bigger this is? This is the rhinestone version, but it has to be this size for the SS10 rhinestone. This is much bigger. Look at how much bigger that is. And look at how much bigger the holes are, the circles are. So you have, you can resize any rhinestone template. You can and use holographic vinyl, okay? And it'll look like stones. Don't believe me? I'll show you here in a minute, okay? So it's on the heat press. I pre-pressed. Now I'm going to put this on there and I'm going to press it again. And then I'll show you with the peel reveal. Where's my board? Here's my board. And I want you to see what this looks like. Yes, Rosalind, you don't use your rhinestones. You know, th again, this is good for kids, especially like little onesies and stuff like that, that you don't want to put rhinestones on because it's little people. Um, you also, again, you know, if you want a rhinestone design to um, fit something and make it bigger or smaller, all the reasons that you want to still have the look of rhinestones you still want to have the look of rhinestones but you just you you can't you can't resize it for whatever reason this is a good reason to um a good option rather i'm trying to cool it off a little bit because if i remember correctly holographic is a cool peel look at that look at that look at that with this, I use the same time and temp that I did for my bling. 350. Look at that. Now, right there, it kind of doesn't really look like stones. But when you look at it from this direction, which most people will be looking at it head on, it looks like stones. They look like rhinestones of different colors. Okay. So, let's see. Look at that. Look at them blinging together. So even if you don't want to say you don't want to get into rhinestones just yet, you want to try, you can do holographic vinyl just to try it out. Then once you master the holographic vinyl, you're like, you know what, that ain't that bad. You can, because you could have done holographic vinyl to do the outline and layer it, see how that works, see how it feels, does it feel good to you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know what? I think I want to try rhinestones. Well, guess what? You still don't have to do the full investment. You can just get a kit that comes with everything you need in it, minus the heat press. You got your kit, and it has a little simple design, two-part design that you can try it out. Then you're trying it out with the real thing, crystal and crystal AB. See how it feels. Does it feel good to you? You like it? You like had putting rhinestones on stuff is okay. Well, then guess what? After that, we have all the other colors that you can come and grab in. Well, not in that size, but <laughs> we have a beginner's kit, a beginner set of colors as well. So this one is a five color set. We also have an eight color set. So the five color set has crystal, crystal AB, light cyan which is red emerald which is green sapphire which is blue then the eight color set has these five colors in it plus it has um orange which is hyacinth jet black which is black and citrine which is yellow 
So you get three more colors in that set. Then once you play with the beginner's colors, that's when you get hooked on all the other colors that we have. Okay. Oh, this bag doesn't have a zip. Oh, this bag doesn't. Okay, just let me know. Um, Rosalind, let me know. We'll get you another one out. Remind me. Send me a reminder email. I forget stuff. And then if you still don't get it after, you know, a little bit, email me again. Please kindly remind me. So, yeah, here's our options. Let's go ahead and do the giveaway. I did want to put the two in there, but you know what? I think you can do the two on there. I think you can put that two in there and make that super cute. If you want it, you might be okay with it just saying love, love. Okay. So let's go do a giveaway. What y'all think? Giveaway time. Let me grab my microphone because I'm bad about leaving it. And then I come over here to the other computer and then be like, I can't hear it. I can't hear it. Dang, never I left it. Okay. So let's switch the screen over to y'all. Hello. How are you? So let me grab my giveaway tool. Kevin. That's who it was I was talking to earlier when I said I went to Kohl's. I just dropped my 20 gross of frost. I oh, my God, Kevin. No, Kevin. Kevin, no. You can't do that, Kevin. You can't do that to us. That will hurt our heart. We can't drop our stones. Definitely, y'all, keep the bands on the stones. Keep the bands on the stones so that you don't... The, the thing come off all that jazz, okay? So we are going to do 1052. So let's do the word bag. The word bag. Let me share my screen. And the first bag we'll give away is the first bag that I did, which is this one, the pink. Now this is for U.S. residents only. I apologize in advance for those who may be out of the country and would have loved to have won the bag. But customs and stuff and dealing with all of that, that was a team too much for a bag. So we're just going to do um, U.S. residents only. And this is for the pink bag. So if you win... um, Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Delonda has a short to show how to get them up with the sock on the vacuum, which I thought was super cool. <laughs> it was super cool. Uh, she has a short on Instagram that shows how to get the stones up off the floor. Um, so here is the pink bag. If you win this, please email me at this email address. Hold on. Let me put it up here because don't. What is this? Do not show. What are you talking about? Go away. What is this? What is what is? Okay. Sorry, my screen was trying to do stupid stuff. Here is the email address. Please email this email address. Don't email me anywhere else because I want to make sure that I remember to send you your bag. And this is the email address that I go to to try to remember things that I'm supposed to be doing because I'll email myself reminders to this email address. So please email me to this email address and put your name and your full mailing address and say pink bag, okay? Because we did a pink bag, a blue bag, and a yellow bag, okay? So please, if you win, send it to this email address that you see on your screen, okay? Um. So, oh, you fixed it, Sir McQuacken, Mr. McQuackens, rather. Mr. McQuackens fixed it for you, Eva. So definitely check that. It should be corrected, and I apologize. I need to make sure my other designs are the same way. But at any rate, we got 81 entries. Holler! So let's go ahead and we are going to do the spin for the pink bag. This is a pink tote bag. Super cute with two different color chrome stones on it. We've got fuchsia chrome and aqua chrome on this bag. Super cute. So let us hit draw. And like I said, if you win, please email me tonight. Like, email me now so that you don't forget and I don't forget. 
and say, Sonia Siegler, just be like, hey, I won that pink bag. And I'll be like, hey, Sonia, that's what's up. Yes, honey. Yes. Because <laughs> then I'll be, I'll get up in the morning, I'll take my emails before I start shipping and stuff. And I'll be like, yes, Sonia Siegler, yes, is what I'm going to say. I'm just letting you know that ahead of time. And then I'll drop it in the mail. Your name, your full address, even though I probably already have it, but please send it anyway. That way, if the kids send the bag out for me, I know where to look for your address. They may not. So let them, you know, I, I need help sometimes. Like if I can't get out to bed in the morning, I'm going to need help to get these out. So email that email address. And then, uh, whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Let's not do that. Okay. So let's do this again. We're going to say blue for the next bag. Just simply the word blue. B-L-U-E. And then um, that is for the blue bag, which has the green chrome stones on it. It's this bag here. So if you're interested in this bag, please definitely go ahead and drop the word blue in the chat. And let us know that you won the blue bag and email this email address that you see down here at the bottom of the screen. Um, and I will get it out to you. ASAP. Okay. And just to let you guys know, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. It was a lot of fun. Please don't forget to go check out the Rhinestone Mechanic website. Grab those designs. Even if you're not going to bling them right away, grab them at that price because that price is going to go up 24 hours from us starting our show tonight. Okay? So make sure you go get your, your rhinestone designs and you can put them in a folder, make you a bling float folder on your desktop, rhinestone designs. And then when you need them and you come back to them, Every year to make your bling shirts and make your money off of them, they'll be waiting for you right there. You don't have to buy them again, okay? All right, so we're going to do a draw for the blue bag. And then heads up, the next one's going to be gold because that's four letters. So we'll do gold for the next one. Deborah Jones. Hi, honey. Yes, honey. Yes, that's what's up. Congratulations, Deborah Jones. Hey, you need congratulations so definitely please now shoot me an email with your name and your full mailing address and say i won the blue bag and we will get this out to you holler all right so the next um drawing is going to be gold the word is going to be gold and that's for this gold bag okay word is gold and now this gold bag has the holographic but look at that look look so, so. Where's my thing at? Look at this. Look at that. Look at that bling. Look at that bling on there. Not 100% like rhinestones, but it's very close. Look at that. That's pretty. That's blinging. So, yeah. You can totally do holographic stones, fam. Holographic vinyl to make it look like stones. Okay, now I will say this, the bigger the holes, just like how I made this bigger, the bigger the holes, the lesser it looks like rhinestones. So the smaller you go, the more it looks like rhinestones. Okay, that's an FYI, that's an inside tip. I'm just letting you know that. That doesn't mean go super, super small, but I'm just telling you the bigger the hole, the bigger the circles the less it'll look like rhinestones from a distance, okay? That's just an inside tip, letting you know that, okay? All right, so here's the gold bag with the holographic vinyl. You guys, we're getting ready to draw. And again, if you win, drop an email to this email address that you see down here with your name, your full mailing address, and that you won the gold bag. Diane, congratulations! <laughs> Diane, you got you a free bag to put your um, quilting squares in. <laughs> How awesome is that? Holographic vinyl. So thank y'all so much for hanging out with us tonight. Um, I definitely appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. 
Again, I didn't mean to cause any confusion, but you can resize rhinestone templates, no matter if you have Cricut, Brother, Scan and Cut, Leonardo, Silhouette, doesn't matter. You can use the software and you can resize rhinestone templates, but you would have to cut it out, mirror it, which I didn't do, mirror it and use holographic vinyl to get a rhinestone look. Cool thing is there are colors of holographic vinyl out there that you can look for and use to mimic the color of stone. So say, for instance, you want sapphire or like this design, you may want the crystal look. So you would use the silver holographic vinyl. Um, I don't know what you would use for the white, but whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. You can find colors of holographic, not the rainbow like what I had. And then you can use those specific colors to build your rhinestone design if you don't have rhinestones or if you're making shirt for a child or in our instance is what we're talking about tonight. You're resizing the design. So just keep that in mind. You can resize a rhinestone template and use holographic vinyl to achieve a very similar look to rhinestones. You just have to remember to mirror, which is what I didn't do. <laughs> All right. So thank y'all for coming to hang out. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And we look forward to seeing you guys the next time. Thank you so much, Miss Joy. I definitely appreciate that. Let me take this down. Oh, he already took it down. I appreciate that. And we look forward to seeing you all next week with another um, super awesome project. And remember to keep an eye out for the newsletter later this week, okay? Because it will be coming and has some goodies in there for you to find. All right. So, Miss Sharon Davenport, thank you so very much. And we did miss you last week. <laughs> Have a good night, Miss Sharon Davenport. Thank you so much for the super chat. Holla. Yes, honey. And real quick, let me show y'all this real quick. I actually put together an SS10 candy tray and an SS6 candy tray. Look at that SS6 candy tray. Look at how cute and teeny it is. Look at how small those stones are. That's SS6 in comparison to SS10. How cool is that? And, and this is the new, um, we do have a new color. This is the new um, volcano chrome. This is the volcano chrome. Super pretty. But look at that SS6. How cute is that? I was like, oh. Not plan on making the rest of the SS6. I'm just telling you that now. But <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to show you because that allows you to see the difference in the side stones when you don't drop them. Right, right. That's my sign to get off of here. Thank y'all. You guys have a great night. I look forward to seeing you all the next time. And until we see you again, we hope you have happy crafting. We gonna go with crafting tonight. <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a good night. We gonna let's see. Should we sensualize or should we do bling fest? I think we should sensualize. We'll be talking about the bling fest again in coming weeks. Okay. Thanks. Bye. How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing.